for listening to the 39th Street Church of Christ Daily Devotional. The devotional today is Go Chiefs! No, Go Church! by Jack Williams. Go Chiefs! Well, you ever heard that? If you're around Kansas City, you did. I mean, you know, you look at it and you think about the great things went on. Look at it. Miami bound, Kansas City Chiefs. Well, they went to Miami. They won the Super Bowl. And you know, everybody around this area and a lot of other places, excited about it, joined in. That's a happy thing to be going on. They were filled with joy. They were talking to each other, encouraging one another, challenging one another. We ought to look and see how wonderful it was to see them at that time. And something united them. Something made them feel that way. You know, in the Bible, you find something of much greater importance. In the book of Acts, the second chapter, those individuals gathered day on a day of Pentecost. They were pricked in the heart in verse 37, and they asked what they must do. They were told, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You know, you look and you find that moment was pivotal. Those who glad to receive the Word of God, they were baptized. Verse 47, you find that those individuals were called the church. God added to the church daily such as should be saved. Did you ever notice what those people did? Beginning in uh, verse 42, after they'd gladly received the Word and were baptized, since so they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship in breaking of bread and prayers. And fear came upon every soul. Many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. All that believed were together. They had all things in common. They sold their possessions and goods, parted them unto all men as every man had need. They continued daily with one accord in the temple, breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. The Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. You see, the church, it continued to grow because people saw the excitement, the zeal. It was strengthened. They face trial after trial after trial as you read on in the book of Acts. Yet the church continued to grow. But remember the people of the church. It wasn't a building that was built. It was the house of God. Those in it, you and I, if we've obeyed the gospel. But you look and you see, you know, remember a moment ago talking about everybody joined together because the chiefs were going to the Super Bowl. We're going to heaven. I mean, it isn't uh, if even. You know, is the church going to heaven? 1 Corinthians 15, God says the kingdom's going to be delivered up to heaven. That's a reality. We ought to be excited about it. You read back again in the book of Acts, the second chapter, and you think about that. Here they were. They gladly received the word. They continued in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, breaking bread and prayers. You think whenever they join together in worship, that they, they just sit there, oh man, do I have to go now? When's this going to be over? When's this going to be through? No. They were joyous. What a grand opportunity it was to be a, a child of God, to live with that hope. And they had that as they joined together. They, at other times, it says that they continued daily with one accord. You look at that and they enjoyed being around one another. And no doubt the topic of their conversation might have gone to a lot of things, but so much of it was no doubt around the church, the blessings, the opportunity, the hope, it was there. They were excited about being Christians. They were praising God in verse 47, having favor with all the people. I mean, these people stood out. They didn't just wear a red shirt. They read, they wore Christianity in their lives. And what a blessing it was. Now some people had upset, but other people, they too had the opportunity and encouragement to gladly receive that word and be baptized. Others were strengthened as they faced those trials. So I look at that. You know, I think back at the zeal that filled this area or other areas. 
whenever such things as Super Bowl comes. Think about whenever your family has the joy of a child being born. Think about the joy of watching your children play sports or have a program in school or just make some great achievement. And you want to spread the word. You want to encourage them. You want to help others to know about it. Do we have that zeal for the church still? Remember whenever you first became a child of God? I do. <laughs> One of my thoughts was, I'm going to heaven. And the greatness of it, I hope, never leaves me. I hope it never leaves you. But if it does, I hope we get back. You know, you can yeah, go Chiefs, go Chiefs. You can live. Go, church. Keep going. Heaven will surely be worth it all. And the joy that we have, it'll be contagious. Peter talks about the fact that others are going to want to know a reason of the hope we have. They're not going to look at the red shirt you wear and the red cap. They're going to look at your life. They're going to say, what makes you so happy? And you're going to be excited to tell them. Let's go out. Go church. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming. Also, we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time. More information can be found on our website at the link below. Thank you.